Hey, Brandon. Well, hi, Fabio. I just got to work. I'm. Uh, it's very cold in my office also because you made me turn off my heater. <laughs> <laughs> the background noise is annoying me. Which, the uh, I, I noticed you're, you're you're still wearing the same clothes. You told me to stay in house. I'm glad to see that you did. I never left. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you didn't get any sleep. Well, what do we what do we have here for reading today? We have a very boring EEG so far. Yeah, looks uh, looks pretty boring. They're not. Oh, there's oh, there's a. Well, it's not so boring. Yeah, there's a boring. I think I slept through all the spikes so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Let's see what you missed here. Okay, so this is um, there's some spikes here on the left side. Yeah, that's right. I see them now that you mentioned them. Or but sharp waves, we should say. Yeah. Okay. So she uh, has a state change here. She wakes up and has some some artifacts and some alpha rhythm there's some spikes there's some sharp waves again yeah okay let's go and this is not a good way to wake up <laughs> sorry what's going on no i mean for the patient oh i thought it was for you for your first eeg in the morning it's already have a oh, seat here oh that's a great way to wake up for me fair enough <laughs> But yeah, this, um, what, what, tell me what you see here. Whoa. All right. A lot going on. So let's walk through this carefully. Why, why don't you describe what you're seeing here and what, all right. Did so, you watch the video? Do you know what, um, yeah, actually, I, I got a report from, uh, from the team and it seems like she had some, some spells last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I can tell you a little bit after we look at the EEG. So, okay, so looking at this now on the left hand side of the page, she was, she had just woken up. We saw that PDR and there's some muscle artifact until this rhythmic activity showed up here in the left temporal and left per sagittal chain. Is that what you're looking at? That's what I see. Where does it start? Let's mm -hmm. find the time it starts and, and the location where it starts if we can. Okay. I think that it starts around here. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good place. So we, we often talk about the first uh, unequivocal EEG change or first unequivocal electrographic change. Um, if you're thinking what I'm thinking this is, are you thinking what I'm thinking you're thinking? I think I, think I am thinking what you're thinking that I'm thinking. I thought that was what you were thinking. <laughs> so I think that's a good place, yeah, for the first electrographic change. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, what, how, where would you locate this? Uh, I think it's left temporal, isn't it? I mean, I can switch to average for us to make sure, but it looks pretty, at least left-sided. I would say, yeah, left, and it's somewhere in the, you know, anterior quadrant if we crudely divide the head into four, um, so not coming from the, you know, occipital region. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, and it kind of evolves, doesn't it? It does, yeah, well, so what do you mean, what do you mean by evolves? There's a, uh, what's, yeah. Yeah, so. When you say that, I think systematic change, um, but there are many attributes of this signal to describe it, so which attributes are, are changing systematically here? Okay, so for, for one, I think the frequency changes a little bit. So it looks Let's, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not, not. Is it getting faster? I'm not convinced, I guess that, yeah. Okay, the morphology changes, that's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. So early on, I don't see, you know, you can, it's not very spiky. Mm -hmm. And then it seems to get, you know, there's spiky. Um, looks like the amplitude is probably going up. Right. It pretty quickly changes, right? In the course of just this one page of EEG, it's, uh, there's this dramatic change. Right. Is it yeah. becoming more um, 
widespread? Is it recruiting? Is it spreading around spatially? You know, before we do that, look how interesting. She still has a PDR. Yeah, cool? you're right. Yeah. So this is a pretty focal seizure. It's a pretty well localized. Uh, even the, the algorithm can survive while this is happening. Yeah. Um, stuff. In fact, yeah, the, she, the alpha on both sides still. Yeah. At least yeah. for a little while. I think it's gone if we go five more seconds on. Yeah. Right. At, least, at least it's gone on the left side. I think it maybe still persists a little bit. You can see a remnant of it in P402. Mm -hmm. Although, actually, well, I'm not sure. I might be hallucinating that. It, it actually it definitely persists for a little while while this, you know, evolving rhythmic spiky activity is already occurring on the left. So this is this yeah. is clearly a, a localized event on the left side, right in the front, right in the well somewhere in the front. Okay, uh, should have switched to average. Yeah. Take a look at the average then. Yeah, it's even clearer. Yeah. So I see more at T3 and I see, actually let's go back to the beginning of the seizure just to be yeah. um, more accurate. Okay. So let's go back. Now look at this, now that we switched to average before it started, yeah. actually some, some spikes. So this starts in the left anterior temporal region. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, nice seizure. Okay, let's go forward a little bit. So then. Yeah, and then it's already started to spread. Spread to so no PDR. Now we have the phonopolar electrodes, F7, T3, T5, and T1, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Does it generalize? I don't, I don't know. Mm. Let me switch back to bipolar. Oh shoot, I lost wow, it. something. <laughs> that was a dramatic uh, was me. Active montage. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, that's why you don't let me drive most days. Yeah, I, I'm letting you drive this time, but um, I think we're going to keep you in shotgun more, more often than not. That's good. All yeah, right. Doing a good job driving. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's really pretty, I mean, you can, it, it looks. I mean, I, I, it's it's mostly on the left. I, I'm. I'm. You can. The, the right is no longer normal. Right. I'm wondering if some of this is maybe what you know volume conduction. Mm. Um, sure. But uh, yeah, because it's pretty blunt looking on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Not as sharp, right? Compared right. to the left here. So this is probably what. What did the patient actually do? Um, it looks like there was no convulsion. Per se, yeah. but what did they do clinically while was, all the this was team. going on? Yeah, that's a great question. The team told me that she actually had a deja vu sensation at the very beginning, mm. and then she became unaware mm -hmm. and had some lip smacking. I see. Yeah. So it fits, huh? Fits, yeah. A, uh, a complex partial seizure, but what do you call the what do you call it in the new terminology? You you, unaware. Whippersnappers, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, look at this. So, talking about evolution, uh, what do you see here at the end of this seizure? Something pretty interesting. Talking about the suppression of activity. Well, right, yeah, that. But right before that, what what happened to the rhythmic activity? It slows down. It slows down, yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you were to sort of sing this EG, what would it sound like? If sing the whole seizure. Okay, I'm a very gonna, short song. I'm not gonna sing to you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's go back then. So it starts here. That stops. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was the American Idol level. Wow. I know. I was just going to go, you! <laughs> <laughs> but actually, speaking of that, can we look at the spectrogram? Because yeah. uh, the spectrogram, in a way, is shows you what it would sound like <laughs> to your eyes. Uh, Before then, though, let's establish that I'm a better singer than you are. I, I admit it. Interestingly, right, so we're just, you can see on the left-hand side, 
Actually, can I drive again? Yeah. You know, I said I'd let you drive, but I'm gonna just, I wanna point yeah. it. Oh, actually, you know what? I can draw, Never mind. You wanna draw and drive, you can't help yourself. I will just draw. Okay, so you can see that initially, right, we noticed that she had some, um, this sort of alpha activity mm -hmm. on and off. Um, mm -hmm. So that's like beautiful and pretty yeah. normal. Um, and then there's this abrupt change. And uh -huh. I think we had a hard time telling whether it was really speeding up or not, because it, if it did, it did it so quickly. So this is, it's kind of like there's just so, uh, abruptly this thing happening, right? It's, mm -hmm. I think maybe there's a little bit of a ramping up, right? So the power, um, as a function of frequency does seem to ramp up, but very quickly. Mm -hmm. And then the majority of it is actually ramping down. It's kind of going down like that. So we, sometimes you call a signal that does that a, a chirp, but it's a down chirp. So, so that's, that's what you were seeing, or it goes, mm -hmm. um, the slowing down. And, um, and actually this is a really, beautiful type of seizure that you can recognize easily. We, we call it a, a flame. Uh, you know, the spectrogram pattern is called a flame shaped uh, pattern. So as opposed to some other seizures that maybe if we read some intensive care EGs, we might see this. This is one of the most easily recognizable uh, kind of seizure mm -hmm. signatures. So the seizure is really just this part here, right? Right, right. Uh, uh, and you can actually look to that it's more visible on the on the left side, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we have the left sided um, spectrograms for the left temporal chain and the left parasagittal chain, both uh, on the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you do you do see it reflected over there on the right side, which, as we you know, we're debating, might be just volume conduction. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And what is the seizure probability is? Uh, so that that's um, this that's a you know calculated quantity, right? So this software that we're using has a, a seizure detector, and it looks like it detected this seizure. Mm, okay. Oh, look at this! Now I zoomed out. Yeah. So you can see that it's a it's a flame shaped uh, event. It just goes. Yeah. Up. It's like you lit lit a candle in the. Yeah. It does actually. Let me see. I agree with you. Would you tell me if you didn't, though? Maybe not. No. I know. I hope you're afraid of me. <laughs> With that hat on, for sure, I am. <laughs> All right. Well, I think. Uh, no, I mean, so I and I, I mean, this is actually. We'll, we need to see some more seizures. This patient, they're here to uh, find out whether surgery is an option. Is that Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, it's um, on the positive side that that seemed to be a pretty well localized seizure. We might be able to help this patient. Though. Yeah. You mean on the negative side, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Daddy joke. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I, I better go. I have to go either do uh, attending you know, physician type of stuff like relax and drink um, delicious drinks like pineapple juice. <laughs> and, I, and then just enjoy the thought of you suffering here. Again. Days again, overnight. Um, make sure you don't eat much and don't get any sleep. Dude, and sounds good. Thanks for caring about my well-being, Brandon. Call me if you need anything and I, I definitely won't answer. <laughs> I, I probably will. I know you will. All right. Well, have a good night. We'll see you later. Peace out.